Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the end of June, the 25th through the 1st, whatever, it's for the end of June, okay? Um, we're going to get two oracle cards. If they happen to flip out while I'm shuffling, you will get to see it now, otherwise we reveal it at the end. Keep in mind that this may not resonate with you, okay? And the timing is fluid, so, you know, it may not be your reading. Keep that in mind. Please keep any nasty comments about another sign out of the comment section. I appreciate that. Just keep it out. I don't even need to hear about that other sign. If you want to leave a comment, that's fine, but I just don't want to hear it. And I don't want to hear it for the other sign. If the other sign is watching, you know, they don't need... Not everybody in that sign is that way. That's what I'm saying. I don't let them do it for you either. And this is for the sign of Aquarius, end of June. Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Usually my readings are love readings. If you would like a reading, the information is noted below. This is for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know at the end of June? Well, these cards, I don't really want to shuffle. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is about confidence and courage and strength. Okay, facing your fears. You're strong. You really, this is a, probably a very strong week for you where you are, you're coming across as very strong and vibrant probably. You're probably, um, oh my goodness, you are vibrant. You, you are definitely glowing. I think that you are probably glowing this week. Um, there's an excitement. There is. There is some, some sort of excitement here. Um, you may have an exciting new discovery or an exciting new opportunity that has been offered to you and it's daring, it's exciting, and you may be eager for this, this new path that's opening. I do think that there's something that is happening that is exciting. There you are. You need to be decisive. Wow. You do. You need to be decisive and not try to lose your focus and concentration with this newfound excitement okay because there could be periods of time where you get in your head okay ego could start to play a part and that is the truth especially with these mirroring each other you could um and this happens to everybody sometimes when we get a little too excited or we get a little too exuberant you know or when we get a little too um what's the word for it eager we can we can let our ego take over so just try not to lose your concentration and your focus with this newfound energy that has come about okay because i feel like you guys are probably vibrating at a high level you're probably feeling really really good about where you're at and that's great that's awesome but don't let you don't get a chip on your shoulder okay just saying i mean i have to i have to tell you that um, I do feel as though you guys are probably taking the lead in your own life. You're being very objective to new objective to new possibilities. I feel like you are on a roll. You're definitely on a roll. You're right in your own element at, at a very high level. I mean, you are very, very attractive this week as well. I mean, your your level of attraction is probably through the roof. Just put it that way. Um, I just want to get this zoomed in. Oh.
So, the basis of your reading is the Four of Pentacles. Okay, that's the basis, the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is resisting. It's resisting. It's holding on. It's holding on to something. It's not wanting to let go of what you have or, or whatever. See, she's going to bury her. She's going to bury her money because or her possession, whatever. She's going to hide it. You know, she's checking it. She's hiding it. You know, whatever. She's um, continuously making sure that she hasn't lost anything. You know, she's she's being obsessive. Okay? That's the basis of your reading. So... Just be careful. This You could be obsessed over something. Okay, just keep that in mind. That's the basis of the reading. Um, how others see you is the five of wands. They see that you are having some power struggles in some way. They see that you are having some, some sort of conflicts. Okay, they, 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 can, they may see you as a competitor. Somebody may see you as wanting to compete, wanting to compete with somebody else, you know, that you're very competitive at this time. Other people are seeing that. Your challenge is the Ace of Swords. This is your challenge position connected with this King of Wands. You know, be careful. Be really careful here that you're being honest, that you're being honest with yourself and you're speaking honestly, that you're communicating truthfully. And be careful that if you're dealing with another person, you know, are they being honest with you? There's some sort of dishonesty here. So be careful. That's your challenge. Your challenge is truth. Somebody isn't telling the truth or not. They're, or they're not seeing the truth. So be careful. There is some sort of truth that is not being told, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody is not being truthful here. And that is the challenge of the week. Okay? Connected to the judgment card, which in many decks is labeled truth. Okay? So, you know, truth is definitely a challenge. Make sure that you are being completely upfront and honest. Tell it like it is this week, even if it hurts. And I know that, you know, people don't want to hear things that hurt, but sometimes they need to. Sometimes they need to, to regain their concentration or regain their focus or to move them forward. I don't know what that, that is, but whatever. I feel like this right here, this is the future card. This is receiving the truth. It's knowing the truth. It's waking up, okay? This is about the truth being revealed. So, you know, some truth is going to be revealed. The challenge is, is it being revealed, okay? So some sort of secret, some sort of revelation is going to come about. And it may bring about some sort of challenge for you. So just keep that in mind. And it could have to do with this obsession that you're holding on to. Some sort of revelation in regards to this obsession, you know, is probably going to be revealed. And you may feel as though um, you're discontent with this revelation, okay? This Four of Cups reverse, you're discontent with it. You're not, you know, it's not probably something that you want to deal with. But this, whatever this is, is it's, it's allowing you to step out of a difficult period. It is. It's going to bring you relief, whatever this reveal is. It's going to bring you relief. It's going to end something. It's going to bring you out of this darkness. Okay? So that is the outcome. The outcome is you ending a difficult period in your life. So something is about to be revealed that is going to progress you forward. Okay? So let's just keep that in keep that where it's at we're gonna get a, a clarifier on this ace of swords reverse the challenge what is this challenge about oh it's about starting over you you're wondering if you should start over what if you should move forward if you're being taken advantage of well if you think you're being taken advantage of then it's probably going to be revealed whether you are or not okay it is and it's going to probably you know May, you may, you know, be careful. Don't act reckless because recklessness will bring you challenges. So be careful with your communication this week. It could get you in trouble, put it that way. Because you're so eager. You're so excited. You're so impulsive. This is very impulsive energy. It really is. So just be careful because there could be some impulsiveness that uh, kicks you in the ass. I'm just saying. Okay, this is impulsiveness as well. Be careful. Be careful. Um, you could have challenges if you don't think before you act. Um, advice. Advice is to 
let something go. Oh, this is the advice position. Okay, right here you're holding on to something. This is your advice to let it go, to stop, you know, hanging on to it. Stop focusing on what you don't have. Stop focusing on whatever this obsession is. Yes, let go. It's time to make a conscious change. It's time to free yourself from something. Your advice is to free yourself from something, a burden. Free yourself. Drop it. Let something go. Something needs to go. I'm not sure what this is. What is it? Some sort of obsession needs to go. Something that you are holding on to firmly. You are firmly holding on to something that you really don't need. It's not emotionally fulfilling, but you can't let it go. And you, your advice is, it is, it is to let it go, whatever it is. This is your advice position, the Ten of Wands reversed. Free yourself, make a conscious change so that you can bring balance back to your life. Whew. We want to know about this judgment card, this reveal, this revelation. Something's going to happen very, very fast. And it has to do with impulsiveness. Oh, God. Somebody's impulsive nature or actions are going to cause some sort of wake-up call. It's going to cause somebody to wake up. You're going to, it's going to cause a wake-up call. So I feel as though... Oh, my goodness. Somebody could, could, could be coming into your life, Aquarius... That is very passionate. Okay, they're very passionate. They're very exciting. They're very um, attractive. But you, they could lead you down the wrong path. Just put it that way. You're going to have to make a judgment call on this person. It's probably a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It probably is. You're going to have to make a judgment call on this person and what are they looking for you know are they looking for uh just um lust i mean do they is it just lust you know i feel like there's an opportunity where you could get a taken advantage of by another person that isn't telling you the truth and i just have to say this so be careful i think that you are vibrating very highly you're exciting you're excited i feel like you're you're very beautiful you're attractive somebody sees that they may think that you're vulnerable they may think that you're easy to get and they may, you know, come after you with some sort of direct communication that is completely bogus and take advantage of you, um, hit you and run. Hit and run. I'm sorry. Um, just saying. I'm just saying. Um, and that is absolutely the truth, okay? There could be, uh, 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 and I hate to, you know, some people have virgin ears and they don't want to hear this, but I'm going to say it anyway. And if you do have virgin ears, I suggest you click off of any of my videos. There's probably a new sexual encounter on the horizon that is only that. It's just sex. So keep that in mind. Aquarius, because there's no love here. There's no love here. And you may be feeling like you want love. I want love. So you're vulnerable. You're vulnerable. So they, they see you as, you know, being conflicted. They do. I think somebody sees you as being vulnerable. So just really keep that in mind. You, know, you are absolutely going to have to make a judgment call on this person that is swooping in probably very quickly to sweep you off your feet, um, hit you up, and... really doesn't want a commitment. I feel like you're going to have to really take a step back to become aware of what this person is, who they are, you know, who do they want. You want a commitment, right? You want a commitment. You believe in yourself. You, you've been seeking guidance. You've been healing. You've been going through this sort of awakening kind of like a Jesus consciousness with these two cards I think that you just want to be happy you're probably looking for a commitment you're looking for something long term somebody swoops in and they're just looking for one thing and you're really going to have to stay, step back to focus and think about this situation okay and I think that one of your obsessions is finding a commitment a solid commitment okay so just keep that in mind I feel like this is a week of passion. It really is. That there's a lot of passion here. And, you know, I 
I feel like you could be taken advantage of. So be really, really, really careful. Be really careful. You could be dealing with somebody who is not telling you the truth. And the truth will be revealed after the fact, which is sucks. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I feel like, you know... It is a time to step back and become aware. Really take a step back and think about your actions, okay? Really do that because it feels like you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't have your best interests at heart. I'm sorry. I am. I feel as though, you know... It doesn't lead to anything solid. It doesn't lead to commitment. Whoever this person is that... Is, is has a lot of passion in their eyes, you know, that's probably coming into your life very quickly. I think it that's all it is. It's, I think it's just lust. It doesn't lead to a solid, a solid um, love commitment. I think that you guys have a major new beginning in front of you, and, you know, you're wanting it so badly. I think you're wanting this commitment. You're wanting this new start. You're wanting this this new chapter to start so you may be acting a little impulsively and get it get taken advantage of so i'm just here to tell you that you will learn a difficult lesson if you if you don't step back and become aware of who this person really is you know um you need to believe in yourself and you need to follow your own path and you absolutely need to listen to your inner guide when making this judgment call that you are probably going to make this week um, now, this doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a friend. This could be anybody that's coming in, sees your vulnerability, and wants to take advantage of you. They may even want your money, you know, because there's that four of pentacles is money. You've been holding on to it. So I'm just saying this could be money or love. You know, I feel like you you have, there's an opportunity. Somebody has some hidden agendas here. You're dealing with somebody who has hidden agendas. They're not telling you the truth. But anyway... Um, uh, there's, there's secrets. So, so beware Aquarius. I feel as though there's, there's a impulsive situation in which you could be taken advantage of and it doesn't lead to anything solid. So, so beware, beware. Yeah. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah. And I think you probably are a flirt this week and there's nothing wrong with that, but be careful. Be careful. It could just be that. A complete flirt and nothing more. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So Aquarius, this is what I have for the week. I would say, you know, go out there. Show the world how beautiful you are, but be careful. Be careful because somebody may think that you're vulnerable. They may think that you're conflicted and that you're easy to to play. This could be love or money. Talk to you later.